Welcome to Kwan's Corner. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make simple kimchi jjigae. Let's get started! Annyeong, chingudur. Are you guys ready to cook? Last week, Sarah cooked me a full Korean dinner. And I was shook to death. She followed Kwon's corner recipe for kimchi jjigae bulgogi and a roasted macro. And it was actually amazing. And I was so touched. I love it, Sarah. It was so good. I made macro and bulgogi in pretty recent video. But kimchi jjigae? That was like one of my oldest video. So I thought I can cover more simple version of kimchi jjigae so Sarah can make it more easily. This episode is especially for you. My old kimchi jjigae might take about 20 to 25 minutes, but this one, I think we can cut it down to 15 minutes. This is all the ingredients we need. We need to three to four cups of kimchi, three quarter cup of kimchi juice, one strip of pork belly, half a carton of farm tofu, one leek, two spicy pepper, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of dashida, which is Asian beef bouillon, a little less than a one teaspoon of MSG, half a tablespoon of fish sauce. We need one tablespoon of mirin, rice wine, and two tablespoon of gochugaru, red pepper flakes. You can get spicy or non-spicy. It's up to your taste. If you have all your ingredients, let's get started. <laughs> Vegetable first. Get two spicy pepper and cut the stems. And we're gonna slice it thinly. And put to the side. Next, get a green onion. This is Korean green onion, so it's very big, but you can use any kind of green onion, it's fine. So cut it into two centimeter thick slices about this big. Kimchi, kimchi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> da, da. And put to the side. Next, get your firm tofu. <sighs> tofu? Just cut it however you want. Like, I like my tofu to be thick, but Sarah like to be thin. So, it's all depending on you. If you like the texture of the tofu, cut it thick. If you want your tofu to suck all the like kimchi juice, slice it thinly. Long time ago, Korean were bury the kimchi under the ground to keep the kimchi fresh. But since the time passed, Korean invent the fridge just for kimchi. I don't have it, but my mom uses it. And if you're using that fridge, kimchi will be fresh forever. Today, I cut it this thin. In my opinion, this is more restaurant style and big cube is more like a home style. That's how I feel. It might be not true. But I see those kind of shape in a restaurants a lot. I think it's because they have to cook it so fast. With the thin, you don't need to cook it so long to make them flavor. That's why they cut it thin. That's my guess. Next, get your samgyeopsal or pork belly and cut it into bite-sized pieces. If you don't have a pork belly, you can use canned tuna instead. But since I'm not a fan of canned tuna, I use pork belly. What? No one ever. I mean, when I think of it, there's nothing wrong with it, but no one ever cooked it, I think. You can use beef or pork, that's most common, but you can use other meat as well. And if you're a vegetarian, you don't need to use a meat, but today dish is not for the vegetarians, so if you're a vegetarian, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Now we are ready to cook. Get a large skillet and we're gonna add all the pork that we prepared. If your kimchi is not cut, make sure to cut it into big pieces like this. And add all of it. And add kimchi juice. Add half a tablespoon of fish sauce. I'm using tuna fish sauce, but you can use it any kind. Okay, this part is very important. Rice wine, it contains sugar. My kimchi is very, very aged, which means it's very, very sour. Adding sweet to sour, will balance the dish. But if your kimchi is not sour, don't add this. Add rice vinegar instead. One or two tablespoons. Depends how aged your kimchi is. You gotta make it balance. 
This is why teaching cooking is very hard. All the ingredients are different. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of mirim. Next, one tablespoon of dashida. And one teaspoon of MSG. It's disproven that MSG is harmful, so feel free to use it like salt. Next, one tablespoon of minced garlic. Without garlic, Korean food doesn't exist. Like butter in France. Next, we're gonna- oh, this is important too. We're gonna add gochugaru, red pepper flakes. You can use any kind of red pepper flakes, but you gotta care about the how big the flake is. If you're using big one, there's no problem, you're doing a good job. But if you're using small one, it will suck up all the water. You might need to add more water. So make sure to add more water if your red pepper flake is finely ground. So two tablespoons. Add all your spicy peppers. If you don't like spicy food, make sure to skip it. Now we're gonna add three cups of water. And turn your stove on high heat. Now we're waiting for it to boil. Compared to my last kimchi jjigae video, this is simpler and faster. Last time I cooked the pork first and then add some ingredients and once it's boiling, I add more ingredients to make it more fresh and flavorful. But if you're in rush, this is perfect. If I'm just making a kimchi jjigae, I use my old recipe because I can concentrate on the steps. But if I make a few dishes at the same time, I make this recipe so I can focus on other dishes. Make sure to mix occasionally so all the ingredients can blend together. Once it's boiling, I'm gonna turn the stove off because I wanna use a dukbaegi for the good thumbnail. If you put your stew in a dukbaegi, it will stay hot for a really long time. So if you have it, make sure to use it. So I'm gonna transfer this stew into my dukbaegi, but it won't change the flavor. It will just stay hot. So if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Dukbaegi also means head as a slang. It's like people usually use it like, I'm gonna crush your head. Like, wait, what's happening that much? <laughs> Don't use to anyone else. It's not good to know. <laughs> Why did I teach? I'm a bad influencer. <laughs> and turn your stove on high here. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add some tofu. But since I moved to the dukbaegi, I'm not gonna add all the tofu because it's not big enough. This dish is for two to three people. And add some green onions. We're gonna let the tofu and green onion boil for about five minutes. We have five minutes, so time to work out. I think kimchi jjigae is like a cheat code. It goes well with every single Korean food. Nanggyeopsal, bulgogi, bosam, macro, jokbal, LA garbi. And after 5 minutes, turn your stuff off. So if you want to learn Korean food, this is a good recipe to start. That's it. Our, our kimchi jjigae is all ready to eat. Oh my gosh, it looks super good. It looks like a restaurant. And there's a tofu. Mochi, you want kimchi chicken? But you can't eat that. There's so many like things that you can't eat. Tofu, green onion, kimchi, sangyeopsal. Smells super good. I want to eat it so badly right now. Okay, that's it. I'll teach you how Koreans eat. Get a tofu and put it on top of rice. Ooh, looks so good. And put one pork belly as well and some juice. And small piece of kimchi and put it on top. And scoop it with the rice like this. Kimchi chicken porn. 잘 먹겠습니다. Wow. Everything cooked so well. The tofu suck up all the flavor and it's so good and it's super soft. I love the texture. Even though I just boil it for what, like a six minute max? Because I add the dashida, the soup itself contains so much meat flavor and I love it. Oh, shit. It's so delicious.
이렇게 맛있어도 되나요? 이보다 맛있을 순 없어요. 음. It's a perfect stew. It's meaty, hearty, but because of all the vegetable, kimchi, and a green onion, it's not too heavy or greasy. I feel like you did something right for your stomach. That's how I feel. Once you have it, it's like, oh my, like, so right. 세상에 김치가 없었더라면 무슨 맛으로 밥을 먹을까? 호! 호! I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat this and go shopping in Hongdae. So if you like this episode, please hit subscribe, leave a like, and ring the bell. That will help my channel a lot. Thank you to my Patreon, Mechanom and Krista, Jackie, Nancy, Shanet, Miss Cheshire, Spencer, Gia, Joey, Sue, Lexi, Mr. Mrs. Gavin. Thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better contents. See you next week. Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit subscribe and the like button. And if you want to see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. Then I will make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!